With the Falcon 1 in 2008, the forerunner to the current Falcon 9, SpaceX became the first private corporation to successfully launch and recover a rocket from space. Also, SpaceX is the very first commercial business to make a crewed voyage to the ISS in May 2020 utilizing the Falcon 9 rocket, a very successful rocket that has so far completed multiple successful launches. And this time, Elon Musk is back with another nuclear rocket that has shocked the entire space industry. You are watching Elon.Musk, and if you like what you are about to see, please smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, or leave something in the comments. Another new rocket launched by SpaceX after Falcon 9, stunning the competition. So what is amazing about this nuclear rocket and how does it work? Let's get into detail. Starship will replace SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket fleet as the company's flagship rocket system, providing a more robust and totally reusable means of transport to space for large numbers of commercial satellites, space tourists, and professional astronauts. Starship is a totally reusable, super heavy lift launch vehicle being developed by SpaceX in the US. Starship will be the first fully reusable launch vehicle and it will be the most powerful ever constructed. The Starship system is made up of two stages, the Super Heavy First Stage Booster and the Starship Second Stage, which acts as a self-contained spaceship while in orbit. Raptor engines burn liquid oxygen and liquid natural gas as propellants in a very efficient full-flow staged combustion power cycle that powers both stages. Both stages of the rocket are intended for speedy reuse after landing in a vertical position. Starship can re-enter the atmosphere for a nose-first descent thanks to a boost backburn performed by the Super Heavy booster. In its fully reusable configuration, Starship can carry 100 tons to low Earth orbit and it is made to fly often so that the cost of getting to space can be cut by a lot. Satellite launch, including the deployment of a large part of SpaceX's next-generation Starlink Internet constellation, is one of the expected uses. Other uses include point-to-point -point suborbital space travel, crew transport to the space station, space tourism, and passenger transport to Mars. Once the Starship spaceship is in orbit, it can get more fuel from Starship propellant tankers before going to places with more energy like the Moon or Mars. SpaceX's conceptual designs for a heavy-lift launch vehicle date back to 2005. Methane fuel specifications were made in 2012 and the spacecraft's primary construction will be made of stainless steel in 2019. Iterative and incremental methods were used in the Starship development program, which meant that prototypes were built, tested and refined on a regular basis. The program will have reached significant milestones such as the maiden flight of the methane rocket engine in 2019 and the demonstration of the belly flop maneuver in early 2021. And after successfully activating 14 of its 33 Raptor engines, a booster for a SpaceX Starship rocket is on its way to becoming the most powerful active rocket in the world. Only three or four other rockets in the entire history of spaceflight have produced as much or more thrust than Super Heavy Booster 7 could have potentially produced on November 14th. This is one of the most impressive feats in the field of spaceflight. However, the Soviet Energia and N1 rockets, as well as the American Saturn V and Space Shuttle, have all been decommissioned over the past decade or several decades. Only SpaceX's own Falcon Heavy rocket, which comes in fifth on the bracket and is capable of producing up to 2,325 tons of thrust at sea level, is still operating and comes near to the record. When it ignited 14 of its engines earlier this month, Super Heavy had the potential to produce up to 3,220 tons of thrust. It is powered by 33 improved Raptor 2 engines, each of which, according to SpaceX, is capable of producing up to 230 tons. This most certainly indicates that Starship is currently the fourth most powerful rocket that has ever been tested, ranking higher than NASA's Space Shuttle but lower than the Soviet Energia. And even if all 14 engines were never throttled over 73%, the Starship booster that SpaceX developed is likely still capable of producing more thrust than any other current rocket in the world, including Falcon Heavy. On the other hand, if NASA has its way, Starship might only have that title for a little over a day. A little more than 35 hours after SpaceX's record-breaking Starship static fire, NASA will attempt to launch its enormous Space Launch System rocket for the third time since late August. The launch attempt was scheduled to begin at 1.04 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on November 16th. SLS is essentially a reorganization of space shuttle components, with the reusable orbiter being replaced by a totally expendable rocket. This was done at the direct request of Congress, which wanted to ensure that jobs would still be available following the conclusion of the shuttle program in 2011. 
The solid rocket boosters have had their lengths increased, while the orange external tank has been expanded and converted into a liquid rocket booster. In addition to the shuttle's three RS-25 engines, the booster now has a total of four of its own. If everything goes according to plan, these modifications will allow the SLS rocket to produce up to 3,990 tons of thrust when it makes its maiden voyage, making it not only more powerful than the super-heavy B-7, but also the second most powerful launch vehicle in the history of the world, behind only the Soviet N-1. N-1, on the other hand, was never able to achieve orbit, hence the space flight system has a chance to become the most powerful rocket that has ever achieved orbit if its initial launch is successful. When it makes its first attempt at an orbital launch, which will either take place in the next month or early in the new year, Starship will be in a position to surpass SLS and become the most powerful rocket that has ever flown, regardless of whether or not it is successful in doing so. This will take place at the same time that SLS appears poised to almost immediately unseat Starship's position as the most powerful active rocket in the world. Starship is able to produce about 7,600 tons of thrust at liftoff when all 33 Raptors are operating at full throttle. This is nearly 60% more than the previous record holder, the Soviet N-1 rocket, which Starship defeated. Even if that initial launch attempt fails, it seems as though SpaceX is getting ready for a series of more rapid-fire launches that would continue until success is achieved, which would beat SLS's other possible record. This capability was proved by SpaceX in the past with the Starship program when the company successfully conducted five flights of five different prototypes in a span of fewer than six months. As a consequence of this, it is quite possible that by the time the SLS lifts off for the second time in the middle of the 2020s, it will have become the third most powerful rocket, ranking behind only N1 and Starship. The fact that Starship and SLS are, for the time being, both vital aspects of NASA's Artemis program should help to alleviate some of the discomfort caused by this unfortunate turn of events. SLS and its Orion spacecraft will take NASA people to lunar orbit where they will board a Starship-derived moon lander in order to return humans to the moon for the first time since 1972. This will be accomplished using the Space Launch System. After that, Orion will pick up those astronauts from lunar orbit and bring them back to Earth. Prior to that, Starship will land those astronauts on the lunar surface where they will remain for approximately one week, supporting lunar surface operations. For the time being, there is a significant amount of work that has to be completed before NASA and SpaceX will be ready to support a crewed landing to the moon. But the Starship static fire on Monday and the possible launch of the SLS on Wednesday both represent substantial and tangible steps towards the achievement of that ambitious goal. Do you think that the new Starship will be a game-changer after the Falcon 9 rocket? Or there is something else that we don't know yet. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. And that brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to let us know what you think about this video. And if you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.